Hey, Anna. Hey, Kate. Who's this? This is Banjo. Hi, Banjo. And I was wondering, what would it be like to see through his eyes? That's a great question. You guys actually have a lot in common. Yes, I knew it, BFFs. <laughs> but there are some differences. Let's see the world through his eyes for a second. We can use these handy dandy doggy vision glasses. The first thing you'll notice about dog vision is that they don't see as much color as we do. But they do see some color. You see, the eyeball has millions of light-sensing cells that all do different jobs. Mammals have what are called cone cells to sense color. Humans and other primates have three cones, but dogs only have two, so they mostly see yellows and blues. The other main difference between human and dog vision is our field of view. You both have binocular vision. That's when the field of view for your two eyes overlaps. Each of your eyes sees something slightly different, and you can test this yourself. Focus on an object and then cover your right eye. Position your finger so it's blocking that object. Now switch eyes and cover your left eye. It looks like the position of your finger has changed. Magic. This essentially gives us a certain degree of binocular vision. For dogs, it's 60 degrees, but for humans, it's double that. Our front-facing eyes help us hunt for food, in part because our binocular vision gives us depth perception. Depth perception is kind of like 3D vision. It allows us to better judge the distance between objects. Just try catching a ball with an eye patch on. <laughs> it's way harder. That's why animals with depth perception are particularly good at catching fast-moving meals. But for some animals, maybe it matters less. A cute bunny, for example, doesn't need to catch a fast-moving piece of fruit. Instead, it might be more worried about detecting predators. So bunnies have eyes on the sides of their heads, so they have a really wide field of view to spot threats from any direction. <sighs> You and Banjo both have front-facing eyes. So while you may not see eye-to-eye -eye on everything, your vision may be more similar than you think. Thanks for answering my question. You're welcome. Maybe this will help us with our fetch game. Nothing can help you with your fetch game. <laughs> Do you have a question about animal vision? Let me know in the comments or find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. Hooray! Science magic show, science magic show, science magic show.